I should call myself crazy traveler because traveling keeps my soul alive. So we left from Goa at around 2 p.m. and this was all in search of a treasure which is called Hampi. After resting, we are early morning birds. We smell the delicacy next to our hotel room and here it is. We are at the taste of brahmins and trust me guys, this smell is mesmerizing. Now what do you call it? Appe and the other name? Paddu. Paddu in Canada. Thank you. I am in the market which takes us into history. We are in Hampi and this is a market which used to sell diamonds and gold. It stretches 1 km. So this journey is going to be really really amazing. Jilin is our companion on this trip and this is our first haul. So that is Krishna Mandir, Krishna Bazaar and uh, there is a well which is called Pushkarani. Trust me guys, I am a super super Krishna lover. So let's go to the Balakrishna temple. On the entrance of the temple, we can see the delicate carving of the Shavtaram. This is a Krishna temple but this temple doesn't have idol. Currently the idol is in the museum in Chennai. This was built in 1513 AD by the king Krishna Devaraya after conquering Utkal today's Odisha. As we walk through these lanes before ending this journey I want to come back here because every pillar has a story. Every uh, rock, every stone uh, that you step on tells you a story. The vibes that you get of a temple, you must come to feel it. Through this video, I'm trying to get uh, you connected to this amazing place and hope you will plan your trip to Hampi. I see a lot of these carvings have been destructed. See that gate. Uh, some temples got destroyed uh, naturally too, uh, especially this temple and now it is uh, being rebuilt. Stories and stories in the rocks. More stories. Carvings that depict stories of Lord Vishnu and Krishna. There are a lot of passages which are blocked. Well, we don't know the reasons, but these are those short routes, you know, that can connect you to the temple. When we see this first, you just wonder why this place, you know, such rock without any reasons. But as you walk through and see the details, you'll see an inscription written on it. This stone has an inscription or story of the King Krishna Devaraya's victory of Odisha. We can see Garuda, that's a Vahana of Vishnu, which is engraved on the stone. The entire area has five markets and we have seen first market that was uh, diamond and gold market. This bazaar in front of the temple is the spice bazaar. Many people will tell you different names like uh, Sabzi bazaar and all. Looks like the olden times grinder. So this is the marketplace. Do you change the color dude? Oh, by the time I end this trail, I'll go crazy. But one common thing everywhere at the temple we have seen is Pushkarni, that is a well that stored water for utility. Every step I walk, I have this feeling that I'm walking uh, a monument, a uh, history. Whenever we go to temples, we offer something. Here you see Shankha Chakra Nam, 
Carvings are seen on the donation or offering box along with sun and moon carvings. It was for devotees who offered grains. Quite a warm day, so you have to start your day early when you are in Hampi. The basic idea from which our plates are designed today. These are the rock plates wherein people used to eat. The small place that you see there is uh, Bhojan Shala, which is called Bhojanam Shala in Kannada. So food used to get cooked there and it used to get served here. And the channel that we see, uh, there is a lake. The water uh, is connected here. So people could drink this water and you know use this water for the usage uh, for other purposes. And the same water could go to the royals because they stayed there. And there is this huge pushkarni which is made up of marbles for royals. And recently, uh, you know, to many people's surprises, when people started researching, this channel showed one more uh, channel there, and then there was a uh, uh, work that was done. And this is the recent found. Just taking you there. Pata nahi yar aur kitne saare achambit karne wale surprises andar chupe hue honge. The more you dig deep, you find more uh, mysterious things and things uh, that always mesmerizes you and you know throws a lot of questions on you to find something more always. All these coconut trees doesn't allow me to miss my Goa. But this journey of Hampi continues and Sometimes I feel like one life is not enough to explore everything. But we connect on one more temple. Till then, let's meet again on Namrata's travel trails from Hampi this time. And if you have not subscribed yet, you are missing out. Huh? So do subscribe and share if you really like it.